Okay, so now we're going to do some arithmetic using um, scientific notation, numbers and scientific notation. All right, so when we're multiplying or dividing, we're going to separate it out into two, uh, two parts. We're first going to look at just the numbers, and then we're going to look at just the exponents. All right, so first the numbers, we're multiplying, so we're going to just multiply those two numbers, 1.340 times 3.41. And that gives us 4.5694. So we'll go ahead and put that here. And then, now we're done with this part, we're going to look at this part. <clears throat> when we're multiplying, we do what with the exponents? We add them. So we're going to take 2 added to a, a negative 1. Now that uh, negative makes it uh, take 1 away from the 2 and you end up with 1. So this will be times 10 to the 1. Okay? And um, We'll just leave it like like that. Um, I will talk about uh, significant figures later on when we're dealing with measurements. Um, we have to look at the, the number again, and, and we may need to round it. But for now, we'll just look at the, uh, the numbers and write whatever the calculator gives us. Okay, so again, we have multiplication. 3.841 times 8. 0.103. Okay, so 3.841 times what was it? 8.103. Okay, 31.123, uh, and there's a lot of numbers there, so I'm just going to round it off a little bit. Um, in general, if you've got, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of digits on your calculator. Just go with as many as you have in, in the uh, in the numbers to start with. Until we talk about that more, I'm not going to be too concerned about it. But um, we have four digits here, so I'm just going to leave it at four digits, and that should be uh, sufficient. So if we round this number off. The four digits, the three is less than five, so we'll just ignore that part. Because otherwise, we'll have too many numbers there and we don't want to write that much. Okay, so we're done with this part now. And times 10 to what are we going to do here? We're multiplying, so we add the exponents. So again, negative five plus, we're adding three, and so that gives us. Negative 5 plus 3 will be negative 2. Okay. And uh, let's look at the next one here. Now we're going to be dividing. Okay. We treat it exactly the same. Um, the only difference, of course, is instead of adding the exponents, we subtract them. Um, and, of course, we divide the numbers. So 3.106 divided by 8.085. 3.106 divided by 8. Point, what was it? 0.85. Okay, and uh, we have 0 0.384. And see, this is, again, we have lots of numbers there. We really don't need that many. Since we have four digits in each of these, let's just keep four digits here, um, excluding that first zero. So we'll go 0.384, and then this we're going to round up because this is five or greater. Okay, so 0.3842. And I just realized that with the uh, previous question as well as this one, we need to adjust this to put it in proper scientific notation. I'll come back to that. All right, so here 
we have times 10 to the third minus negative uh, 2 okay so 3 minus a negative 2 so what happens here it becomes positive 3 plus 2 and so we'll end up with 5 times 10 to the fifth Does that make sense all right so let's go back here um, the the first example was already in proper scientific notation remember one digit decimal and then any remaining digits all right this one is not we have two digits and then the decimal so we need to put this in proper scientific notation so we just write out whatever numbers we have here but with the decimal after the first digit and then we say okay well if it was two places to the left because of that negative sign that means we're going two places to the left well if my decimal is here and I want to go here I only have to go one place to the left so this will be times 10 to the minus 1 All right. now for this problem it says I'm going five places and it's positive so I'm going to the right okay and if I put this in proper notation that'll be 3.842 but now in order to get over here I only have to go four places all right because I'm coming from here I want to get five places over there's one extra place there that I don't have to uh, to go so it's only going to be four all right so let's look at this other example for division 1.9201 times 10 to the 14th divided by 2.81 times 10 to the 16th okay bigger numbers but we're going to treat it exactly the same separate it in two parts first we're, we'll look at just the numbers we'll divide those 1.9201 divided by 2.81 okay equals 0 0.683309608 <laughs> or why don't we just keep uh, five digits of that 0 0.6833 and then this becomes one 0 0.68331 You'll notice again when we have those leading zeros, uh, we don't care about those. Those are just to, um, you know, in this case, to tell us there's a decimal point there. Um, but uh, all right, so we're done with the first part there. Now this will be times 10 to what are we going to do here? We're dividing, so we uh, we subtract. We have 14 minus. 16 so that gives us negative 2 all right so times 10 to the negative 2 let's look at our number here again put it in proper scientific notation 6.8331 times 10 and we're going two places to the left here all right so that means if my decimal is here and I want to go to that same place, I need to go one extra place. All right. So that'll be three places to the left. All right. One, two, three will get us to the same place as one, two um, in this number. And so that is expressing it in proper scientific notation.